Hey guys. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. Today I will tell you, interested history of, Ping and Finance Center, located in, Xinjiang, China. So move toward my today's video. The Ping and Finance Center, located in, Xinjiang, China has a fascinating history that showcases the city's growth and ambition. Here is a detailed history of the Ping and Finance Center. The planning and design of the Ping and Finance Center began in the early 2000s when the Ping and Insurance Company decided to construct a landmark skyscraper to house its headquarters. The architectural firm Cohn Pedersen Fox Associates was commissioned to design the building with structural engineering by Thornton Tomasetti. Construction on the Ping and Finance Center officially began in August 2009. The groundbreaking ceremony marked the start of an ambitious project that aimed to create a world-class skyscraper and a new symbol of Xinjiang's economic prowess. The construction of the Ping and Finance Center involved the use of various high-quality materials to ensure the building's structural integrity, aesthetic appeal, and functionality. Here are some of the key construction materials used in the Ping and Finance Center. Concrete is the primary material used in the construction of the Ping and Finance Center. High strength concrete was utilized for the building's foundation, core walls, and structural columns to provide stability and support the immense vertical load of the tower. Steel plays a crucial role in the construction of tall buildings, including the Ping and Finance Center. High strength steel was used for the tower's structural framework, including the main columns, beams, and trusses. Steel offers strength and flexibility allowing for the creation of the tower's complex and intricate structural elements. Glass is a prominent material in the Ping and Finance Center, contributing to its sleek and modern appearance. The tower features an extensive use of glass curtain wall systems, which provide transparency, natural light, and panoramic views. The glass used in the building is specially designed to be energy efficient with low emissivity coatings to reduce heat transfer. Aluminum is utilized in various elements of the Ping and Finance Center's construction, including window frames, cladding, and exterior panels. Aluminum offers durability, lightness, and resistance to corrosion, making it suitable for high-rise buildings like the Ping and Finance Center. Natural stone and marble are employed in the interior finishes of the Ping and Finance Center, contributing to its luxurious and sophisticated ambience. These materials are used for flooring, wall cladding, and decorative elements enhancing the building's aesthetics and creating a sense of elegance. Given the tower's height and safety considerations, fireproofing materials were utilized throughout the Ping and Finance Center. These materials, such as fire-resistant coatings and fireproof insulation, provide protection and help contain the spread of fire in the event of an emergency. In addition to traditional construction materials, the Ping and Finance Center incorporates advanced building systems and technologies. This includes sophisticated heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems, electrical systems, and smart building automation features to optimize energy efficiency, comfort, and operational performance. The construction process of the Ping and Finance Center presented several engineering challenges. The tower had to be built on a site with complex geological conditions, including soft soils and seismic activity. Extensive foundation work and advanced engineering techniques were employed to ensure the building's stability and safety. During the construction period, the Ping and Finance Center was part of a fierce competition among skyscrapers worldwide to claim the title of the tallest building. It held the title of the tallest building in China until 2015, when the Shanghai Tower surpassed its height. After eight years of construction, the Ping and Finance Center was officially completed and opened to the public in 2017. The building's inauguration marked a significant milestone for Xinjiang skyline and further cemented the city's reputation as a center of modern architecture and economic power. The Ping and Finance Center is not just a skyscraper. It is a mixed-use development that incorporates various functions within the building. It houses office spaces, luxury apartments, a hotel, retail outlets, and a conference center, making it a bustling hub of activity. One of the highlights of the Ping and Finance Center is its observation deck, known as the Ping and Observation Deck. Located on the 116th floor, at a height of 541 meters, or 1,775 feet. 
It offers breathtaking panoramic views of the city of Xinjiang and the surrounding area. The building has been designed with sustainability in mind. It incorporates various green building technologies and strategies to minimize its environmental impact. It has achieved LEED Gold certification, indicating its commitment to energy efficiency and sustainability. The building is adorned with a dynamic and colorful lighting system that illuminates the exterior facade at night. The lighting display can change colors and patterns, creating a visually stunning spectacle that adds to the building's overall appeal. The Ping and Finance Center has become an iconic landmark. And a symbol of modern architecture in China, its unique design and impressive height have garnered global recognition and have helped put Xinjiang on the map as a destination for architectural enthusiasts. The Ping and Finance Center offers a comprehensive visitor experience, including guided tours, interactive exhibits, and informative displays about the building's design, construction, and significance. Visitors have the opportunity to learn about the building's engineering feats and its impact on the city of Xinjiang. If this video is helpful for you, then like and share my video, and subscribe my YouTube channel.